Last week, like the rest of the city, I saw the Green Arrows broadcast, and it hit me. If that man could take up the Arrows mantle, I could take up your mother's. Um, <clears throat> how? By running for mayor. This episode finds Oliver dealing with an old family friend named Jessica Danforth, played by Jerry Ryan, who we're very excited to have on the show. And she has decided to risk her life to make Star City safe for her daughter and her family to live. Damien Dark is in town and definitely determined to keep anyone in Star City from making progress or getting improving the city in any way whatsoever. You look nice. It's my first day back at Palmer Tech. I get to be bossy today because I am the boss of a multi-billion dollar corporation. I know I should be nervous, I know, but I'm not. Felicity finds herself stepping into her role as the CEO of Palmer Tech, and there she is going to be confronted with some very harsh realities. The company has not been doing well in Ray's absence. I didn't come back to this company to put the people who work here out of work. I came here to protect Ray Palmer's legacy. And if we do not dramatically reduce our costs or increase our profits, there won't be a legacy to protect. She's going to meet a new character there, which we're very excited about, um, Mr. Terrific, played by Echo Kellum. Hello. <laughs> he is going to be our second LGBT character on the show. He's married, his husband is very devoted to him, and he and Felicity are going to have some interesting adventures, not just in this episode, but throughout the season. Remember last week when Oliver was telling us about Dark? He said he had a hive of followers. An organization called Hive killed my brother. One of the things we're most excited about this in this episode and also in season four is picking up the story we for last explored in episode 206, where Diggle finds out that his brother was killed by Hive. I've been looking into this organization for two years now. All dead ends. But what I did manage to dig up tracks of what we know about Dark's ghosts. They're Hive. Diggle has been long trying to find out what the truth was behind his murder. And in this episode, we're going to get some new evidence that is going to lead him down a rabbit hole this season and find out the truth about what happened to his brother.